Hi, I'm Charlie Love and welcome to this Chrome Enterprise tutorial with Apps Events and Acer. So today what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to let you have a little look at the investigation tool that's available in the new Google Workspace editions uh, for Enterprise, Education Standard and Education Plus. So the uh, investigation tool is a neat way to go and investigate what's happening in your domain uh, right from the admin console. And you can launch it in a couple of ways. Um, so here I'm in my admin console. And I'm just going to, go into, go into security. And in here, I could scroll down and go straight into the investigation tool to look at security issues and uh, take some actions to resolve those. Um, but Another great way to go into the investigation tool is through the security dashboard. Um, so the security center dashboard gives me that overview and I've just covered that in a separate video that you'll be able to watch uh, on our channel. So just giving an overview of what the security dashboard does. Um, so here's the security dashboard. And one of the things I'm really interested in today is scrolling, I'm just scrolling down and reviewing, I've got this bit of a peek around phishing emails. Uh, so I'm going to go and have a little closer look at that. And when I go in here, I can see, well, this is the 15th oh, and um, there's this email that's been coming in. So let's maybe just change that, that filter um, here. Yeah. So let's look at another date. Let's maybe look at when was that now? That was that spike was uh, yeah, that was yesterday. So let's look at that spike for the 14th. And yep, we were still getting the same, this same email. Now, what I could do is if I just move over here, uh, I can go into the investigation tool and launch it to look at this case right from the security dashboard, which is really neat. So I'm just going to do that. So now I've got, I've got the date range that comes in and the subject for the email all comes in. And this is going to show me this particular email. And this is an email that's been identified as a phishing email. It's going to a particular user. Um, it's been received it's where it's coming from. Um, so I can look at this and say, well, you know what? That's definitely not a PayPal domain. I can go in here and actually maybe just look at more detail about the message. So message headers, I can see the message headers and see where it's going to. Okay. Um, so it's passed that the SPF and the DKIM rules. So we know that the senders have been authenticated, um, but this is still looking pretty suspicious as a mail. Um, so we can see the routing steps for it. We can see the kind of raw information for it. If we want to have a look at it further around. Okay. Maybe let's have a little look at the actual message. Now, when I go to click into the message, of course, this is a very powerful tool, the investigation tool. It lets you go and see a lot of things. You can go right into everybody's mail and see them. So you need to have an auditable trail around that. Um, and so there's a business need. Um, when you go and do an investigation, it keeps a log of what you're doing, of what that can be audited, that you can review um, to give you that kind of that security check. Um, and governance over use of the investigation tool. Just as you have in Vault, uh, many of you might be familiar with, the, will be familiar with the Vault tool for e-discovery. Very similarly here, we're gonna make sure that we've got that audible trail of actions. So I'm gonna put in some information. Just This is a phishing investigation. Um, review of message. Okay, so I'm just gonna confirm that's my business reason. Confirm that. And now that I've done that, I am looking at the actual message. So um, I've got options here just to read. This is me reading the text. Okay. So um, it says display external resources. So this would be like images and such. If you wanted to show them, you could remember that can also be security wise. That could be a risk because it, it shows that the email is being received and can be reviewed. Um, so there's a potential risk to doing so. Um, this is interesting because the link here, um, it says resolution center and it goes to a bitly link. Um, and that looks pretty suspicious. So what I would be saying here is clearly this is not a genuine PayPal email. Um, it, the, the, where it's come from, um, ha is not a genuine source. Um, so that would, that would be correct. It's not from PayPal. 
And what I could could do is I could then go and I could mark this message as spam and future messages would be then automatically put into spam when they were received. Um, and and I could also, I could mark it automatically as phishing because it is phishing. So I could mark it as a phishing email um, and I could quarantine it if I wanted to as well and take further actions to investigate. So, but what you would, what I would do here normally is you would just go and mark that message as phishing. Uh, and that would allow you to use the investigation tool to review that. So the investigation tool is really powerful, a uh, great way to go and investigate what's happening in your domain. Um, you have many options in here. So that was just a look at the Gmail log, um, but also within the investigation tool, you have opportunities around, you, could, you can save investigations, by the way, I didn't mention that, but you can save them all as you go through but you've got a variety of different sources that you can look at. You could look at, for example, um, Google Meet log events to see what's happening with Google Meet, look at some of the, what meetings are happening, what meet Google Meets are left open, if you want to close them down in an education setting. Um, you've got users events, a whole range of things that you can investigate right here from the admin console. So it's incredibly powerful. Um, so really, do recommend that to you. It's part of the Enterprise Education Standard and Education Plus editions of Google Workspace. Um, this has been a, just a really quick look at the investigation tool within Google Workspace. My name is Charlie Love, and this has been brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. Thanks for your time.